Okay, let's make a little demo. Um, so I wanted to highlight in this little demo the new MongoDB functionality that we brought out in Beanback and Replication 12.2. So you can see here that I've already been through, I've created a couple of backups, but where the fun starts is actually building out your, your cluster and what that demo looks like. So you're going to see your backups under under um, disk as you'd expect but let's go through and add add in what we what we need so first of all we need a uh, protection group and if I just zip through here I've given it a name we do our deployment what you do here is you add in your um, your primary or maybe maybe just one of your nodes so basically what I've got here is I've got a three three node cluster or a three node replica set MongoDB 0, 1, 2, and, uh, yeah, one, 1 and 2 on my network. They're virtual machines. Doesn't really matter. All we're focusing on is the is the database. At this point, we're providing a Mongo uh, account. So this Mongo admin that I created as part of that process, I've actually worked on an Ansible playbook that helps deploy this. So I've got that here. I'm using that Mongo admin, as I mentioned. It discovers, if you add just one, it discovers your replica set. Um, that's what we need. You can't push this to a community, uh, yeah, a, a single node, community edition or, or enterprise edition. Then here, this is actually to get onto the actual physical nodes or virtual nodes. And at this point, I've created an OS user called Veeam. It has enough capabilities about being able to get in. Again, if you go here, we're going to connect using admin credentials. You've all seen this before. SSH or private key. Elevate the account if you need to. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Test it. Good stuff. Options. When do you want this to go out and discover? Review what it's going to do. And that will go and deploy everything it needs on that, on that machine. Then at that point... We can create the the backup job of that. So um, one thing that I also did to play around with was I'm using the add unknown hosts to the list because it's more secure. Whereas probably in lab environments, you're all going to use add all discovered hosts to the list automatically. If you use this second button, then you're just going to come in here and there'll be a, a trust button um, that you need to that you need to add in. So then to create that backup job, if we go into, you can create a new backup job up here under applications and you can go through, give it a name, add in your replica set. Where do you want to back it up to? Specify the, the specifics around what you want to protect. So in fact, let me jump into my backup job so that you see. Because again, three node, one one is your primary and then the other two are secondaries. So I've added that. Then if we come into you've got your advanced settings there. This next one is your backup preferences. And I've distinctively said I only want you to take it from MongoDB one, which is one of my secondaries. But fail over to an automatic selection selection if MongoDB happens to be happens to be down. Put it on a schedule, um, and off it goes. It will start protecting that. So I have a couple of backups as well. Um, before I get into this, what we can do is we can start what that looks like. I've got a couple. I've got a full and an incremental. First one was literally just out of the box. What does it look like? How does it, how does it look? Um, and, but we can obviously go and choose that incremental. That incremental is how we're going to get to Veeam Explorer for MongoDB as well. So with that in mind, let's actually show you some data. Just minimize that. So I'm using MongoDB Compass. This allows me to get into that data, but or at least into one of those data, into one of those servers. In fact, if you connect to, like, so mine are 101, 102, 103, pretty simple. If I connect to 102 with a direct connection, it's also still going to put me to 101 and, and 
show me this view. Um, this gives us a, a way in which we can look at our databases. You can see what they look like. But more importantly, let's have a look at um, our mission critical application. So this application, Node.js front end, if you've seen me do any demos on Kasten, I've definitely used this. This is actually running in a Docker container. Um, and yeah, let's let's uh, clock up a high score. And you can do this in a couple of ways, right? In that, right, let's, let's imagine that this is like almost bad data if we wanted. Um, and we save that. I seed a couple in here um, just so that we've got some data. But this, like I mentioned, this is running on, on Docker locally. Um, you can see first backup. So when we go through the Mongo um, Explorer, it doesn't go into the collection. So I can't see granular high scores. But I can see, like the I can see the the collection. So the, inside the database, we have collections. Collection being high score. We also have a user collection, which which holds this information. Um, in fact, if we go and look over on Compass, let's refresh that. I've just done a done a restore, so I've spoiled it a little bit. But you can see here that for each one that you see here on the left hand side, we've got them all showing with the bad data if we go to user stats you can see where we've come from what we're what we're showing what user agent and stuff so we can get pretty pretty creative on that but what we could do is we could go and drop that that's why i like to have this open so we can drop that collection refresh refresh this go to high scores damn all of my mission critical data is now not available. So back into our trusty Veeam environment. If we hit restore, should have left it open. Uh, let's go back to where we were before we put in that bad data. Let's restore it. Let's browse. So then for them, for those that haven't seen the, the Explorer, it looks like any of our other Explorers. It allows us to see those, the databases and then the collections underneath. Um, this is a very small one, but you see here that I have Pac-Man and my uh, my development skills are rubbish. So I need to remember whether it was high scores or uh, I think it was high scores, right? Um, and then we can right click and we can hit restore. Restore to a different location or back to its original. Target the the deployment connection credentials. So this is your Mongo admin credentials. Yeah, I'm not using TLS, but obviously it can. Uh, that could be me. Most likely me. Yeah, there we go. And then this one is your um, your node account. So this is us getting into that machine. So that Veeam account, again, there's a few options in there. We can elevate that if need be. I think that's all I need to do in my situation. So there we go. So select the collections that we wish to wish to restore back this explorer stays open so just in case that was the wrong high scores um i can go here i can i can look at what that looks like so because we took the backup from mongodb one but we're mounting and restoring that back into into our so if I come back here, okay, bad times, potentially. No, we should be good. So let's refresh. Maybe it's something in the app. Let's uh, let's get that new bit of data.
Hmm. Maybe it was supposed to be that other one. So if I brought back high scores, I think I now need to bring back high score. Let's restore that one. Restore it to the same place. Back through the same. Nothing like a live demo. And then your connection into that machine. So yeah, the the reason what so what just happened is is that so under Pacman under the Pacman database you see we've got four different um, collections underneath. Let's just hit uh, yeah, it's already there. Um, we have Pacman as the database, but underneath that we have what they call collections. I think they're similar to tables, but don't quote me on that. I'm not a DB expert by any stretch. Um, I was trying to get that web front end that that mission critical Pacman game. I wanted that to store into this database. Um, I'm pretty sure that high score is probably the right one and whatever the other one is. So if we minimize that, we refresh that, we go to high score. Yeah, we're back in business. But here we're going to have high scores and we're going to have... Yeah, so I was playing around with it. I got it in. No wonder it wouldn't display, but it was there. High, uh, high score is the one that we that we actually reference. So if we in there, you can see that we've gone back to that first backup. So bad data no longer exists. So that's the uh, that's what we've been playing at the just to give you a bit of insight. So what I did was I used Terraform to create three uh, Ubuntu Linux boxes on on my vSphere environment at home. And then I used Ansible thereafter to to go and do everything to prep it to be a replica set cluster. So once I've ironed out some of those areas, I'll uh, I'll share that and everyone can everyone can see it. Awesome. Hopefully that was useful.